He looks like a surfer, but he's from Minnesota. Minnesota then, surfers are famous. Well, it's 11.20 p.m. So, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, this is a late, this is an official late night pod. Dude, <laughs> late night this pod. This is the latest <laughs> night of all pods, dude. Mm. You want me to hit that? That'd be sick if you hit our timer over there. So we can see how late, late night, night we go. I, uh, Four was, hours. it's weird when, like, um, typically for a podcast day, we start at, like, 8.30, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like a, uh, an early evening pod. But um, what was weird was it hit 8.30 and I was like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's how you know it's going to be yeah, a good, good night. night. Max, give me one favor. Can you just turn that light off for <laughs> yeah. us? So anyways, when, it, when it's a late night pod, listen, you got things going crazy. You got lights that don't work. You got <laughs> countdowns that don't start. You just want it off? Yeah, just keep it off. Okay. But so at like 8 o'clock, I was like, ooh, uh, this is when we normally start. And then I started to get the thing of like, I started to overthink it too much. Like I need to get prepare for the pod tonight. So I drank energy drink late, late, starting late. Then I, I started taking down a bunch of notes. And then when I looked at my notes at like 1030, I was like, oh, there's nothing here. This is just words. Nice. So I, think, I like that I think though. I got a couple things, but, but I would love for I'm you just to prepared. like, if we, if, it, if we get to it, like just read them off. Oh yeah. I can and then do we that. just do like oh, a, yeah, yeah. a rapid well, fire. Well, I have a list on my phone where I just randomly type things in and sometimes I got to decipher what it is. Yeah. What I mean by random for the pod. Yeah. And then sometimes I read this and I go like, who, who was I yeah. at the moment I wrote this? Like you just open up. It's like foot turd. What was that? When Dude, I'm telling you that's exact. And one of those cr things I'm talking about today. Yeah. <laughs> I like, I looked at it. I'm like, so I, can, I can make that work. What is foot turd? Foot turd? What is well, it? Well, that's easy. That is when you're at a pool, mm -hmm. right? Well, um, water park, right? <laughs> water park, of course. And uh, you're walking around with your family. Everything seems to be normal, yep. okay? Then you see a poop on the ground. Yep. And a bunch of people are walking around it, but nobody's stepping on it, right? Ah. So they're they're walking around, and you, you're trying to let people know, like, there's, but it won't, the words won't come out. So then, instead, you run over, and you squish your foot in it, and you slide it away so nobody else gets a foot turd. That's sacrifice. And that's called a foot turd. That's dude. noble, dude. Yeah, foot yeah. turd. That's a foot I like turd. that. Yeah, I like where that went. Oh yeah, it'd be fun to like just like what if we had like a like a word mixer. Yeah, and then we just had to tell like a it, like, generator. Just tell the other person what it is. Oh yeah, for sure. The the podcast. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. Which is like majority what this podcast is. Yeah. Anyways, like I bring up a topic or you bring up a topic, and then it's like we yeah. gotta figure out what, like would like. Especially like would you rather's. Yep. It's like you got to decipher like half of those. I just come up with. No, nah, that's what that's why say, they're that magic. Would actually, be a good game. Just call it foot turd and foot create turd. your own game. Yeah, dude. Well, you know what I thought Bro, about we doing. We can market that. Yeah. Oh, a yeah. Bros and Brothers game. Yeah. Well, what I thought about doing when we before we even started this uh, the podcast, right? I thought about having a bucket here mm. that would be like a versus bucket, so it would have like mm. a bunch of animals in it that day. I love. And you got to say we could have just random words, and you got to pick two or three. And then you put them together, and then you got to describe what the That's what that is. Snake oil. Oh yeah, That's snake oil. Remember we played? No, that? it's foot turd. It's foot turd. Sorry, sorry, yeah. No, <laughs> live. It's not snake oil. Oh, by the way, too, just so everybody knows, I got the thighs out, and it's only. <laughs> well, here's why. Here's why. Because it's a late night pod. Okay. I had a change of clothes. Yep. I got to the studio at like 10:45. I was wearing this just to leave the house, and then when I got here, I was like, "Dude, late night pod. I'm getting them thighs. Get those thighs out. out dude. And it's a little warm in here." So I'm glad I got it's the thighs hot. out. It's a little toasty. Uh, Honestly, I might get my thighs out. Oh, I think you might get the thighs out. The problem is, what do you got underneath them jeans? I mean... Just thighs? Just thighs. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Dude. Uh, so anyway, everyone, if anyone's wondering, that's why I just got um, the thighs beautiful. out. But. That's... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> could you guys... Could you hear the slap? Here, watch. Wait. He just blows up. Can you hear that? Nice. That was, that was a good help. Well, anyone slap. just listening, I just got my thighs <laughs> slapped. slapped. Slap that dude's thighs. Oh. Dude, uh, we had a special guest. If I'm sure people, have, if you're watching, you've already seen him in the background. We got what? July himself, Julio. Julio in the house. Oh, you know. I just realized that's why his name is Julio. Yeah, yeah. Because, one of the reasons. Yeah, because is it is it today? Yeah, yep. today the day of filming this. Yep. Which July 14th. July 14th. It is our other, my other brother-in-law. Brother. brother, which would be my brother-in-law in a way. In a way. Your actual biological brother, Quentin's biological brother, Julio's in the building. Lives it's his brother-in-law. Brother, actual brother-in-law. Julio's in the building. Give it up for him. It's his birthday. Bow, 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 bow. 
Give me like a Happy like a oh yeah. There you go. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Nailed Dude, it. Dude, wait, here. Julio, give me some drops right now. Just give me a drop in there. Oh yeah. yeah Dude, that sounded that he has a good deep that, voice. I can't. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Got that got that deep voice. Oh, I like <laughs> say, can you do it? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. That, you know what that, it is? That was higher pitch than your normal. You know voice. what it is? He's seventeen, right? Uh, and for some reason, when you're yeah, a teenage boy, you, that drop. you could go down. With, but oh, you you do it. Oh yeah. That's not pretty, That's pretty good. good but when you're in your like young twenties, yeah, your voice starts to mellow out. Ooh, oh, for sure. Yeah. And then you get like a mine was definitely voice. deeper in my teenage. Yeah, years. definitely. Yeah. yeah, like Anna was convinced I was gonna have a deep voice. And then it was like, nah, my she voice matched like, my body. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> One more time, Julio, give us a deep oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's radio quality. <laughs> we should just have him for like, uh, like have him in his own booth. Yeah. And then he just does drops. Here, do another drop and see if you can mimic it. Um, which one do you Anyone. Want? Anyone. Uh, You're in big trouble, mister. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> mimic it. Wait, uh, high voice or? Anyway. You're in big trouble, mister. That's like pitch perfect. Dude, dude. that was, that was pretty close. That Can you do, wild. uh, is there another one we have? Oh, my Lanta. Do it. <laughs> Just, do oh, it. Oh, oh, my, my Lanta. Lanta. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, my Lanta. Dude, he's got a skill where he can mimic voices perfectly, right. dude. Welcome to Bros and Brothers. Dude. Where our wait, brothers wait, got. Wait, can you do this? Nick's Picks. Nick's. Uh, no, I can't. No, right. <laughs> Only I can do that. <laughs> Only I can weird. do that. We can't. found his flaw. He can't imitate his own brother. <laughs> yes, I can't. That's right. Uh, I got some uh, gifts for Julio's birthday. Dude, I got him wow. gifts too. What? Really? Whoa, that's okay. crazy. So, Julio, okay. first off. I got you a chewy bar. Wow. I love those, actually. I get those Sweet. Over. Chocolate chip? Yeah. He didn't just get that from the back. 25. The no, no, what? no. I was planning I was planning for like the okay. whole week. 25% less sugar, because I know you're there watching you your health. Keep, keep it healthy. Am I? Yep. I, um, this book, I figured you're getting... Well, how old are you? I'm 17. 17. This is Think Like a Billionaire, Become a Billionaire. There you go. Wow. Every 17-year-old needs this. Wow. By young. Scott Anderson. By the way, Scott, single T. That's a book. That's interesting. That's cool. So, anyways, I got this book for you. Oh, it's got a color photo in the back, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, so there you go. That. And then I also oh, got you uh, Lord of, the Lord of the Rings: The Two Towers full screen DVD. Oh, whoa! I'll with, buy the borrow that. Yes, with it's got the booklet and bonus feature disc oh. in the back, baby. Most of them that's missing. That's awesome, dude. That's just like when I was a kid. I got the movie Tuxedo on DVD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if sure. I ever told you that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, <laughs> no, for sure. Yeah, it feels yeah, just yeah. like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah totally. Um, uh, I figured you had the first and the third one, so I just got you the second one. So Dude, awesome. Julio, I, any more gifts for Julio? No, no, that's it. I, I got, I I got him a gift. Enough. I don't know. I got him oh, a wow. gift, too. I'm no getting way. gifts. I'm getting gifts. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, I'll get you after. Oh, wow. That is. Oh, <laughs> sick, dude. I got him a sword. Oh, sick, dude. A straight up katana? You got to start training. That is so cool. Dude, <laughs> that goes like hand in hand with my gifts, dude. Now, this is his sword. Oh. It's my sword. Yes. I did get it from him. Uh, but it is a gift to you. The gift Thank is you, you bringing it. Because, on. yeah. Be, well, no, because the gift would be that you could have kept it. That's true. At That's any true. point, if you, if you are willing to steal something from somebody, but then you give it back. They should look at that as a gift. That's true. That's a that gift. is a gift. So, that is sick, a gift. Dude. And also, I could kill you. Well, now, is that I, a... Because I hold I the sword. I don't know if that's... Is that a handmade good. katana? Well, okay. Julio, I know all katanas are handmade. But I mean, like, yeah. did you make that? Julio, you want to tell them the story about this? So, the story is, it's not actually a katana. Oh, okay. um, it's not The genuine. second story yeah. is, uh, I actually don't know where I got that from. That was Angelina's. And then oh, he yeah. just kept in his room, and then it okay. So the but it used gift. to it used to have like things on it. Yeah. Oh. It, you know, and then this used to be wrapped like right. somewhat nice, like yeah. this pattern. That, the case is shocking. Yeah. It's it seems it's rough times. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. What I love about it is it looks like, um, like an ancient, mm -hmm. rundown sword. Yeah, yeah. 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 That if you were to open it, it magically turns into a better sword or something. That's that's oh, what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I thought you know what it was. Yeah. That's, that's the lore. How many? Be honest. How many squirrels have you killed with that thing? I'm gonna be honest. Just out in the backyard, at least sixty. Yeah, dude. he's a serial killer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's and a squirrelier killer. Ah, oh, oh, dang, that was, was a good one. No, it was close. I, it wasn't there. Sure, I needed like the another trial. second or two on that one, dude. You know, the thighs are out. I'm a little nervous and ashamed, and so my comedy just. It's you just, know what they say? Like, when the thighs are out. <laughs> 
Hot. <laughs> All right. So, hey, it's late, late night pod. It's a late, late night pod. pod. Late <laughs> night pod. <laughs> I've worked all day. Uh, hey, yeah. We were hanging out. I'm a little brain dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. And cool. it's late. I uh, was walking. Oh, I was get. I got to the gym the other day. Okay. Mm. And this, I'm parking the e-bike, which I did pop another tube yeah. on the old Super 73, which uh, I'll get that. back and working on Monday. So but, is, that, um, is that just the tube that pops? Yeah, well, this on the tire is totally fine. Literally, it was like a just a long like staple. So Dang. the tire is like totally fine. The tube got it's, yeah. there was these liners you put inside the tires mm -hmm. that protect the basically it. If something goes in, it like shoots it to the left to the right, so it doesn't. Oh, yeah. hit, I'm gonna just get that. Um, but anyway, so I got the new tube coming because it's like a it's like a certain specific size. You can't get it in store. But I was uh when the when the tire was working, I got to the gym, I parked the bike, and this guy comes out. And he's like, he's like, dude, sick e-bike. And I was mm. like, excuse me. I was like, it, it's, somebody says sick e-bike, and I'm like, I'm in, right? Yeah, I'm like, it. oh, thanks, man. He's like, yeah, it was, uh, that's Super 73. I was Ooh. like, yeah, you know it. And he's like, sick, dude. And when when somebody says sick multiple times in a sentence, I'm with it. Okay. So he's like, sick, dude. He's like, I got an e-bike too. What? And he names his, which I didn't know, but I was like, oh, that's a great one. I, you know, I just playing along because I wasn't sure. He, and his, his is foldable. What? I'm like, what? I'm like no, 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 that's sick, right? Next so level. So then we just, we're talking, right? And uh, I'm starting to say sick back. We're just broing out for Whoa. like a minute, right? Like full and we're talking about, moment. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about. It's like then, broception. Oh, 1,000%. He's like, hey, uh, he's from Minnesota, but he's here with his dad for a while. You're okay? from Wisconsin. Yeah. Right, right, yeah, <laughs> right. Now it would have been crazy if we were both like in and we met in California or something like that, but we did Whoa. meet in Wisconsin. So, okay, yeah, anyways, yeah. but um, so he's like, yeah, I'm just here for a while. I'm living with my dad. I was like, oh, cool. And uh, I was like, oh, do you got your e bike? And he was like, nah, I didn't bring it. It's too big. He's like, but I got my one wheel. And I'm like, oh, sick. Oh, is that one, one wheel? wheel? I'm asking about the one wheel. He's like, yeah. He's like, the one wheel's super rad. I'm like, I'm in. The one wheel's super rad. He's like, but it gets a little gnarly. He was like, I fell off and I broke a couple ribs last month. And I was like, that's crazy, but that's sick, that's dude. That's sick. What does and he then, look like? Well, he's the thing is that he's a he's a white dude, blonde hair. He looks like a surfer, but he's from Minnesota. Minnesota then, surfers are famous. Th then this is the dude. The the conversation's starting to wrap up. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, do we just become best friends, right? Yeah. And then he goes, oh, cool. What's your name? And I, he goes, a fist bump me. I go, <gasps> I go my name's Nick. And the fit, he pauses, and his face turns white. And he's like, my name's Nick. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then the, 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 the knuckles finish the collide. And then I'm like, oh, wow, that's crazy. And then he does this. He goes, ah. Oh, alternate universe yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. With the figures, and then walks away dude and i was That's, like what dude, happened, whoa. dude dude okay they crazy. activated the uh, what's it called the the collider yeah right the hydro the uh, hydro collider hi yeah hydron collider hydro mm -hmm. collider mm -hmm. and what if like when they activated it you know all those mo molecules were like hitting each other and yeah. then they created a black hole <laughs> yeah and dude. like alternate minnesota yeah, nick dude i know came to this universe <laughs> dude it was crazy and then he's you guys just, met he's That's... just growing out for the rest of eternity dude yeah, yeah exactly what if when you fist bumped you just like a singularity happened yeah and then the universe a planet died a pl yeah. Some planet <laughs> yeah yeah, died. yeah. So somebody weird. else's yeah, planet dude. died yeah that's insane dude it was, dude. It was that's wild. pretty crazy well i asked what he looked like because i always see a guy by the gym and by mom and dad's house on a one wheel oh but... yeah no this dude was like he's new in town just got here mm -hmm. it was wild dude so anyways that that's was crazy. like he should have got his number dude well that's the thing is that like what i feel like when our knuckles touched we connected yeah and i'm like we're gonna see each other again now we do go to the same gym so that helps that but i also sense. feel like we're gonna see each other somewhere else like we're gonna be biking and his, he's gonna pull up next to me in the one wheel okay if his like wife is from like uh guatemala i know dude oh you don't think i thought about it dude oh i thought that I would be it. insane I know, or you I just go home and like he's married to your wife and you're in <laughs> <Yeah. universe. laughs> like no no yeah. Yeah. why did i fist bump him <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah i want my life back i want my life back <laughs> yeah yeah so anyways that was dude that was wild dude oh dude, that's insane man it's so also speaking of like the hydro hydrogen collider or whatever did you see nasa's new telescope no dude so they just launched their new telescope it's called the web something w-e-b-b -B. no okay. yeah w-e-b-b -B. uh it's this crazy it was like 10 billion dollars it's this new 
uh, uh, telescope that is getting like the crazy. If, for instance, if uh, what was the one that took the picture before? Just last night, but the uh, old one, H- Hubble. Yeah, Hubble. So uh, they said if that is, let's say, HD, this would be like 5K or 6K. Oh, so it's like a deep space Dude, telescope. It is crazy. Check this out. Dude. So the one on the right is what we could see before, and then this is the brand new telescope Dang, right dude. there, dude. And then they got an Instagram account just for it. Yeah, yeah. And oh, I gotta follow so it. So sick, dude. Check that out. Look at oh, the crispiness of that, dude. That looks fake. That so we've insane. seen that picture a million times, but it's always a little hazy and whatever. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, they're gonna be reporting new pictures constantly. Yeah. And uh, they are crazy. I think I saw a couple other ones too. I mean, look at that. Thing, oh my dude. gosh, yeah. dude. I don't know what it is, but it's it has like a those are galaxies. Feel to it. Yeah, dude. That's those they, are galaxies colliding. Yeah. It's so next up, in, okay, it's the James yeah, Webb obviously. Space Telescope. These are the first images. Do they um, do they have pictures of the telescope? Oh, I'm sure they do, dude. Let's just scroll through here. Yeah, that's crazy. They got some data. Okay, this must be it right here. There right? it is. Oh yeah. Whoa, dude. Sick. You had to wear a mask to operate it, dude. What is this, COVID? Yeah, dude. What, are you going to give the the thing COVID yeah, or something? Yeah, what are we going to give Actually, the I don't know. COVID? This is just like normal space training. I should have yeah. read the description. Yeah, that's probably this true. This is just the beginning. Let's see what else they dude, got. Dude, they high-fived? Oh, dude, yeah. you know they're going to high-five. Dude, you build it. The- there it is. Whoa. Yeah, that's You build cool. the greatest telescope of all time, you're definitely going to high-five. That's dude. Cool. Facts. Yeah, that yeah. thing is sick, dude. And look at it. You got to have the honeycomb shape. Honeycomb shape. It's the greatest shapes. shape in the world. Yeah. Thanks, Julio. I appreciate it, dude. Good <laughs> job. <laughs> what if he, like, he just like knocked down a light, and then it took those cables over there, and then the cables took the camera, and then the camera took the table, and then um, that plant lights, uh, lights on fire. Yeah. And then um, we all die or something. Oh, that'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. Church or like just uh, the lights turn off. Yeah. Either one. <laughs> yeah, or it, just, just either know, one, the episode is over. Yeah, yeah. Just know <laughs> it wasn't my fault. It wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So anyways, everybody check out NASA Web N A S A W E B B on Instagram. They only got a few pictures, but I guarantee you the stuff they're gonna come up with is gonna be crazy. Dude. What do you think dude, what if while they're taking these amazing photographs, they actually catch an alien, dude? Whoa. Like fly, like um, you know, like in a little tiny, little tiny ship. Yeah. Do you think the alien would like sue? Yeah. Or do you think it's like paparazzi law? What are the space... I wonder what space laws are. Um, I'm Take, pretty sure, like, you just... I think it's free reign. Right, like, oh, uh, what is that? Uh, like, sea, sea yeah, law? Yeah, it's like maritime international law. laws. Interna- interstellar yeah, laws. Yeah, international waters. Yeah. Right? International uh, stars. Space. International space. Interstellar. Inter- and, we, and we know that space is not just an empty void, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Einstein proved that, so uh, I won't get into all the details, yeah, yeah. but I mean, I know them all. I just won't get into I won't crunch them. the numbers. No, no, it's, you know, it's like it's like It's a, laborious. It's a, like a blanket. And, I'll keep it simple yeah. for the simple ones. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly, exactly. Basically, you know like, we're not a science podcast. There's paper, right? Yeah. And then we fold the paper, yeah. right, like this, Anchor and then basically paper. you just take something like this. Right. And then you... <laughs> Right, that's space. Science. Well, that's how you break space-time continuum. That's how light works. That's science. That is how light works. That is how it works. That's how a black hole works. Uh, oh, this. and by the way, it was E equals MC squared. I know everybody jokes around. Yeah. That is space. Space. E equals MC squared. Yeah, by the way, I, they do that same thing in every single movie. Yeah. Like, but it's like about a lot of different things. Like, it's it's yeah. not about one singular thing, but the fold the paper, punch it. Yeah, they do it. They do it for black holes. They Wormholes. do that for tra- uh, time travel. Time travel. They do that for Dimension. alternate dimensions. dimensions. Right, alternate realities. Yeah, yeah. everything is like a pen going through paper. That's a metaphor for life. That's how oh, humans yeah. are made. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure, dude. Yeah. For sure, yeah, yeah, for sure. You think, you think, uh, you think God was like when he was making the universe, right? He was like writing down a bunch of ideas, and he's like, man, I wonder. Maybe I'll make people and animals mm-hmm. and like galaxies, whatever. And then he accidentally poked his pen through the hole and it just everything got created. And He's like, well, that like, was easy. Yeah. That was easy. <laughs> it's then, a symbol. Yeah. Yeah. So then anytime a scientist traces it back, it's like, it's like a pen going through paper. I don't yeah, know, I don't how, know how, explain how to explain it. it. it just, I don't know how to explain it. That's funny. It. But yeah. Maybe that's how it was. Dude. That's what it all leads to. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I got a question for you. Yeah. Um, would you win in a fight against your mom? Would I or could I? That's the question. Right. Could I? I mean, yeah. I'm pretty... Oh my God. <laughs> Just water bottles for days. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> I, uh, could I beat my mom? 
<laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What the yeah. heck? I could be, I was, I'm going to go out on a limb and say I could pretty much be anyone's mom. Okay, Not but, everybody, but almost everybody's mom. But would you? Would I Would I be my mom? No. Right. I, nah, because I here's the facts, right? Like, here's the truth. I would just, like, if it was my mom. Yeah. Right? Like, I have to fight my mom. Mm-hmm. Um, I would just let her continue to hit me, you mm-hmm. know? I wouldn't fight her. I'd no. run. Yeah. You know, like, hey, stop, woman. Right. Woman, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Stop it. And then maybe, like, to the extent of just blocking her, that's all I would do. Yeah, yeah. However, mm-hmm. if the battlefield mm-hmm. was command and conquer zero hour generals, mm-hmm. I would demolish my mom. <laughs> like, straight up demolish her. Okay, hold on. Let me, I'm just going to ask this question just so I'm following. If you're playing against her in the in the game, yeah. or you're saying if life was like if I was playing against her in the game, oh, that's the battlefield. Yeah, yeah. Like we're oh, gonna I play that game. Saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I'm telling you, she can have eight allies. Yeah, China, America, mm-hmm. the Middle East. They're all on the hardest difficulty. They're all on the hardest. Mm-hmm. They're all on her team. Mm-hmm. All against me. And you would beat her. Just demolish my mom. How long does she get to train? Or is it just like? A week for both. I get a week, she gets a week. Well, do you need a week? You've played before. I'm a little rusty. <laughs> yeah, okay. I would need to warm up for that type of. That's fair. For that type of Versus week, somebody never playing before, <laughs> and then they only get a week. They get the same amount of time as you. Do you think there's any uh, video game your mom could beat you in? Yeah, is there a video game that your mom could beat you? In? Oh yeah, um, like Sudo- a Sudoku game. Oh, dude, she would murder you in Crossword. Sudoku. Crossword. Crossword. Yeah, like those <laughs> kind of games. Uh, um, Murdy straight vocabulary games, math yeah. games, yeah, 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 dude. Any type of word game, I would like if you like held Scrabble. a gun to my head, yeah, Scrabble, <laughs> I would it'd be over with, yeah, that sucks to know Scrabble, that. yeah, because I know I can at least hold my own, but it sucks to know. So, like, you're right. So, and the comparison would be like if I got into a jiu jitsu match with like a Brazilian black, right, you know, jiu jitsu black belt, you're done. it's like you playing Scrabble against like the average, exactly, the, the average, average player, person. Yeah. Who, That's who knows how to spell things. Right. <laughs> you know right, what I'm saying? Right. Right. <laughs> I'm like a, if you just walked around in fear of somebody challenging you to scrabble. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like you're causing your, your therapist is like, listen, nobody's ever gonna do yeah. that. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> plays Scrabble anymore. It's yeah. 2020. Yeah. Like a random game show where they're like, play this game of Scrabble. <laughs> yeah, I would just <laughs> melt out. <laughs> yeah. You ever seen um The Office? What's the receptionist's name? Pam. Pam. The second one though. Oh. The one that like D cut. The, Kimmy Schmidt. No, it's together. What was her name? Joe. She was like the uh, one that married, Ooh, or not married, but liked out. the uh, Dwight. Oh, the redhead. No, we know who she is. We just don't know her name. Well, there was a whole bit about her playing Scrabble. And she, huh. <laughs> <laughs> <It's funny. laughs> she can only get three letters at a time. Oh, yeah. That'd be yeah. big. Oh, yeah, yeah. But almost worse. How many three letter words could you say right now? Pam. Pam. Pan. Pan. Dan. I mean, well, okay, wait. Not, not. I could say words. No, I know, but I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying I just realized. That. But to know that they're only three letters, though, is what I'm saying. To know that you know, oh, saying, like, how many can you go like? Uh, yeah, that's kind of hard. Yeah, yeah. One, one. Yep. Two, two. Uh, no, don't he's out. Don't what do you say? He said three. Yeah. Yeah, that's hard. You know what's hard? And ear, ear, eye, um, cat, hat, fat. Uh, ch- uh, <laughs> that was close. He was, that was going close. quick. That was close. Dude. What were you saying, Liv? Pineapple. I said it's harder to do like a five letter word. Alligator. Maybe. <laughs> Alligator. Yeah. It's got to be around five, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, is it five or more? <laughs> yeah. We're, yeah. Three letter words, you know. Yeah. So, two letter words. Two letter words, two. Three. Two. <laughs> yeah. Six. <laughs> three. Two letter words. Do. Uh, do. Go. Go. That's a sentence within itself. Um, Actually, oh. no. Dude, is no and go the shortest sentences? Yeah. No. Period. Yeah. And then go, go exclamation point. What about period. I? Is that a sentence? No. Uh, mm, no, it's not. It's a response. Like I. Uh, the eyes have it, you know, when they're like, yeah, yeah. Who, do, who, I. who does this? I or the, nay. Spartacus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But nay is basically no. And I, in that sense, is basically yes. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I like we knew that. that. I wonder. <laughs> That's how we're gonna vote on things for the podcast from now on. Yeah, you day. If if you're like this, say I, mm. and then I just just so this I can say the eyes have it. That's what what, I what's the opposite that. of uh, I? Nay, nay. Yeah, I thought it was yay. Was the opposite? I of think nay. it's like a funny yay way to say and nay, it. but like uh, 
Back in the day, they would say like, "She just rhymed so hard." <laughs> yeah, 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 nay. But back in the day, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But back in the day, it was either I or nay. Uh, they would say the eyes have it. Okay, you guys have heard that term right before the eyes yeah, have yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm just making sure. I, I wish know. I was in a scenario where I could use that phrase. From now on, anytime we're like, "Hey, what do we should do in the podcast?" and be like, "Well, I was thinking about this," and be like, "Okay, who's in favor? Say I." Okay, I. Well, let's then, do it right now. What can we vote on? Ah, uh, man, this is a tough one. Should we Pepsi or Sprite? Ooh. Okay, all four Pepsi. Say I. Nay. Oh yes, yeah, I. I. Then all four uh, for against Pepsi. Say nay. Wait, nay. Wait, wait. I mean, wait. Yeah. The nays have it. And then wait, I need a gavel. Yeah, that's what we need. Wow. Sick, dude, dude, that sounded good. Do oh, that yeah, again. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. Wait, hold on. There it is. Yeah, okay, what yeah, else can yeah. we vote on? I like this. <laughs> oh, dude, here we go. Let's start making laws. <laughs> yeah. Check this out. I've been them. sitting on this bad boy for a while. Oh, he's got a bell. Did you take that? No. I was missing a bell. Ooh, <laughs> okay. Wow. That's sick. I like that. I like that. It sounds like an elevator. Oh, yeah, dude. Wait, can I show you guys something? Dude, you know what would be a great job? 1935 working as an uh, elevator boy. Dude, that would be so. That would sick. be sick. Unless all you do is you just hang in an elevator talking to rich people. Yeah, that's sick. You dude. get tips. Oh yeah, you like um, out oh, but except for when people fart. Yeah, when people fart or um, that movie uh, Tower of Terror. Yeah, that would suck. Yeah, that would. That's not good. Where if somebody else farts, you fart with them. That's the thing is at least commit to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. What were you saying? I you brought you guys some uh, a video to watch. Ooh. Something I've been very interested in lately. It's been all right. My new favorite sport, I, I would this say. This one here. Oh, okay. Oh so yeah. So this is. Oh my gosh. Slap fighting. Yeah. Okay, but real quick though. <laughs> What's yeah, up with that? Dude? Has, it definitely has some type of. Uh, really quick. Yeah. Demon. Yeah, I would say that this guy. He is fueled. Yeah. Uh, slapping is like the most lighthearted thing he does. Yeah. Okay. This is. Yeah. Yeah. This is his release. Yeah, this is what he does for fun. This is like picky flowers. He's just slapping that dad for no reason. For no watch, reason. But it gets right, better. Here we go. Ooh, okay, that's classic. a good slap. Yeah. I like the music too. Unfazed. Ooh, rocked. Ooh rocked. completely yeah. rocked yeah. him. Look at that. Boom. He's here for it though. Look at the way he looks. What, okay, what's up so with this? There's a trend here. What is going on here? It's lizards versus dad bods. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is wild. Lizard okay. people versus dad oh, bods. Oh, that was a bad. Oh, that was a bad He's slap. The bottom He's corner. Oh, this is gonna be sad. Uh, oh, that dude is a machine. yeah, God. dude. Is this some type of like ritual? You know, I noticed oh, that for a thousand percent, dude. Yeah. See, okay, here guys, we go. Yeah, these are good. Hey. Look at the dude's suspenders in the middle. That dude is terrifying. Yeah, they're also like he's easy. every villain's bodyguard. Yeah. And this is the part of the movie where he rolls up the sleeves, you're tied to a chair, and now he's going to um, get all the information he possibly can from yeah. you. Just stabbing people. Okay, they get set up. Look how scary. Look, he's shaking. He's bracing for it. He's got no neck, which is probably a good thing. Yeah, I think that's a plus. Yeah, dude. I love the music in the background. These are, they're all Russian for sure, right? This has got to oh, be Russian. And yeah. they use the powder. Or like, hey, maybe it's Russian versus Ukraine. This is I was just going to say. Yeah, this is how they're dealing with it. Western dude. European. It's see, Russian. At, this is, is the real war East. right here. You see oh, how red yeah. his face was? No, because everything's tinted blue. Oh. Oh, yeah. What's up with that? Oh, dude, sick fanny pack too. Dude, <laughs> get slapped with a fanny pack. Oh, yeah, dude. Can slap by a dude wearing a fanny pack. I bet you the earplugs too are to help keep your balance. Ah, uh, I was thinking so they don't when, rock your eardrum. Yeah, I was thinking so it wouldn't explode your eardrum if you hit this it. This video so is hard. ten minutes long. No, there's tons of good like there's different people. Oh, I think These he just did. Awesome. He just smell his fingers. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think if you lose, you're supposed to smell the other guy's I don't fingers. Know. Yeah, what just happened? Uh, money's being counted. Money being waved and. Quick smell. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> yeah, he's like, yep, that smells yeah. worthy. Yeah, he just let me hey, let me get them fingertips real quick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, uh, would you ever try slap boxing? But like weight class, like you guys somebody in your weight right class. now. Yeah. Never. <laughs> oh, you know what we should do? I'd get knocked out. I got the smallest jaw. Dude. Tortilla slapping. That would have been sick. Be Liv, that would have should have been the angle Sorry. on this one. I just yeah. thought this was. Awesome. It should have been like 
instead of slap boxing, let's tortilla slap. She p- pulls out the tortillas. We could, yeah, we could have been on TikTok. That would have been so sick, dude. Dude, imagine oh, it. Slap boxing is wild. Remember, you got when you were a teenager, did you slap fight? Yeah. Yeah, that was you like ever, fun. You ever play Bloody Knuckles? Yes. Yes. Yes, sir, I did. You got to play Bloody Knuckles. Right as a now. kid, like as a young man, <laughs> yeah. you have to play it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? It's like a rite of passage. There's different ways to play it, too. So there's like where you put your fingers or your yeah. knuckles on the table. Right. And then you throw a quarter. Yeah. You yeah, flick yeah, the quarter, yeah, right? Yeah. And then another way is you, you hit each other's knuckles. Yeah. I've done both. I think more, last time we didn't have a quarter, so we were just hitting each other's knuckles. Yeah. yeah. Which is like fun too. And I'm pretty sure I jacked up one of my knuckles permanently doing that. Yeah. I like flattened it. But oh, yeah. You got to do that. Oh, yeah. Another thing, um, another version of bloody knuckles is um, during the winter time, they chain you to a metal fence shirtless. And then they take a metal cane and mm-hmm. they just whip your fingers. Oh bah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bah, oh, you know what too? Bah, if you're tell us uh, the truth. Bah, they tell ma- us the truth. Bah. They make you uh, another one that we used to play. Is they make you work at a fat camp, mm-hmm. and then they um, they take a rope and they tie you to a tree and cover you in honey. Mm-hmm. Um, and because there's, <laughs> there's bears, <laughs> you gotta run. <laughs> but only a deer comes and licks you. So, yeah, yeah. Bloody knuckles. Yeah. Um, I got that from heavyweights. I didn't really have <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, my childhood wasn't that great. Yeah, so. It was good. Yeah, I had a, I, I take other people's stories. So. I like it. Yeah. I like um, it. Um okay, so go to go along with fighting. Have you heard of the new sensational movie? R R R. No. Okay. Have guys. you guys heard of that? No. I'm about to blow your mind. So R R R. It's called R R R. It's a new Bollywood movie. Ooh. That is on Netflix. And it is one of the greatest movies I've ever seen, ever. Like, not greatest Bollywood movie, just one of the greatest movies I've ever seen. The plot, the acting, as far as I can tell, the, uh, the just... You finished it? Yeah. Okay. It's every 80s moment, mm. or like for every great moment from an 80s movie, like, but just... A, a whole movie of great moments. It's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. All right, I got to so, see it. So, listen, I'm going to show you the trailer. Don't play the audio. I just, as I'm talking, I'm, I'm just going to play this trailer. And you can watch it. So, it's about these two guys. One's like, a, um, basically, uh, he's in the military. It's set back in time during uh, when the British ruled India. Makes sense. One guy's a, a, um, a, like a freedom fighter. One guy's in the military. They both lie about who they are. Mm. And they become best friends. What? And, but they realize that actually they're villains. They don't like each other. Look at look at some, look at that, dude. Dude, the One tiger. Guy's like, every he growls back at him. Every scene is from. It's like the greatest scene of all time. Yeah. There's this scene right here. Every single scene. The military guy. One guy is like. Uh, one guy in the crowd of like, eighty thousand people is like throws a rock at somebody, and they send this guy to to go to the crowd of like. 100,000 people and find him. Dang. He's just fight, dude. And look at this. Every scene Dang. is like a perfect still, dude. Dude, I got to see this. Now, That's here's beautiful. the cool thing about this movie is is okay, you know in Bollywood, right? They got like the singing and dancing. Yeah, I love Bollywood. This too, has it. But every song and dance is justified within the movie. A lot of Bollywood just goes into like a music video yeah, yeah. and they're like, "No, nah. there's literally a part where they were like, let's show these white guys how to dance. And they do a whole dance number showing them how to dance. Like oh, every, everything is justified. Nothing is like random. And the acting is great. Now, the only thing about the one on Netflix is it's dubbed in Hindi because they're speaking multiple languages. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. they universalized it and dubbed it in Hindi. So it's kind of weird because you're, watch, you're watching a dub in a language you still can't understand. Yeah. But you're reading subtitles. So it kind of doesn't matter. Oh, I but know, these I know are, Hindi. These, oh, sick, dude. So. So these two guys are like the they're like the I don't know the Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio or like the of the Arnold Schwarzenegger from the eighties. That's what they are in India. Yeah. These are massive stars. Anyways, this movie's incredible. Dude, I gotta dude. see that. It's so good. So anyways, it's called R R R. Oh, by the way, the opening credits don't dude. even hit until forty five minutes into the movie, dude. Oh, everything's yes, sick, everything. Dude. Everything's sick. There's I, not wait, a single scene that isn't awesome. I love how this trailer's still going. It's been going for like 10 minutes. Well, the movie's over three hours. Ah. Of uh, iconic images, dude. Look at this. Dude. Just How did you get to that it, point? Air, dude. I gotta see this movie. Is, oh, by the way, it doesn't matter. Like, they don't justify any cool scene. They just do they cool just do scenes. It. They just do There's it. no reason. There's no reason. Like, 
the the when he's fighting the tiger there's no reason but it looks awesome yeah this trailer is like another minute anyway that's how i want to live so life man R that's how i want to live life R. oh yeah just whatever is cool do it that's what i'm saying dude they these guys must have been fans of eight american 80s movies where it'd be like you know uh that famous scene from the predator where they give each other the high five and like hold it in their muscles like this whole movie is that dude yeah it, if unashamed. it bleeds it dies yeah, that's the whole movie is just iconic remember. images now the plot line is sad Right. But I, you know, don't watch it for the plot line. But it is like this little girl gets kidnapped by the British, and um, they have to try to free her, and it is a little sad. Gotcha. Um, because she is a child and everything. That's but cool. Though. It is definitely like anti-British. Yeah, yeah. Very anti. Which hey hey, Br we're Britain American. Some, Br and Britain did some naughty things in You're India. You're naughty. So I'm, I'm like you know, what I'm saying like naughty, naughty. India gets the pass from it. But anyways, yeah. RRR, you can watch it on Netflix or illegally stream it. However. Uh, you watch your stuff, but uh, I just want to bring it to the table. Mm. Do you ever, as a truck driver, um, have you ever had to pull off the side of like a like a, a road or a freeway or whatever and use the bathroom? No. Or luckily, you've kind of always yeah. made it. Yeah, yeah. Have you gone inside your truck? Yes. Number Definitely. one or number two? Number one. Could you do a number two in your truck? If have you ever felt like? If I don't get that rest stop, and you know what? Minutes, Honestly, uh, there's some spots like, especially the airports, yeah, um, <clears throat> where you're in a truck line for like ten hours, oh, sick, or something like that, yeah. But usually, you can just walk, right? But you don't want to, right? Because the other trucks will just skip you, yeah. You know what I'm saying? True. So in those scenarios, well, I just remember when I was a kid one time we were on this uh, like freeway. I, I I think it was in Chicago. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, we saw this car pulled over like in the uh, emergency passing lane, you know? yeah. And we're like, what is this jerk doing? Because it was like standstill traffic. Yeah. Like, what is so we finally inch our way there. And we're like, what's going on? His door's open. And we looked and he was just like, he he had his feet in the car, um, but he had his butt hanging out the door and he was just dropping a fat load, dude. Yeah. Right in the traffic? Yeah, but like he was trying to be discreet, but there's only so much you can hide when you just yeah, got like yeah. a bare when white When the door is wide there. open. Oh, yeah. Just... You got that. You got shiny white buns in the daylight and it's just, dude. And at... I was probably 11 or 12, and I still can see, you never want to see turds falling, and I saw turds fall, falling, dude. Wow, I guess that is, yeah. a, that's something about life. Just yeah. think about that, guys. <laughs> like, when is the chance you see fall. a stranger's Meditate turd just fall, dude? I when? saw that in California. I yeah. saw a man. Oh, a homeless that dude. Yeah, I saw that's him, dro he was dropping a duke in the bushes, but at least he was yeah. trying to, like, hide. Yeah. This guy, I'm saying, he wasn't, like... A crazy like look at look at me drop a load you know it was like he was trying to be discreet but he had some shame do yeah you yeah, ever see somebody just take a dump and they just have no shame yeah what <clears throat> I'm not like a huge fan of going in public but I'll do it but yeah. when I do do it I feel z oh I walk out the bathroom I've, with zero shame I've taken a dump directly in an alleyway oh okay yeah, yeah. yeah when I was desperate nice. oh yeah. Yeah, I was Recently walking around. Like, no, I was a kid. Oh, yeah. I was like, yeah. Uh, did you have anything, you know, toilet paper, nothing? Nothing. Just, yeah. I had to go. You put I was walking around up? Chicago all day. Yeah. Nowhere to go. Just mm. pull my pants down, took a dump in the alley. Oh, yeah, I did. That's sometimes, good. That's good. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> it's what you got to do. I mean, sometimes <laughs> gotta, it is what it is. It's what you got to do. <laughs> sometimes it is what it is. Hey, if you got to do it, if you got to go, you got to go. No, 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 no. That's, you know? That statement is not, that wasn't just made up for no reason. Yeah. It's true. It's the law. Well, you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go, dude. So yeah, yeah I I've, uh, I've pooped in an alley. Oh yeah, I don't. I think maybe as a kid I pooped in like in a bucket or something like that, like on a road trip. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, like, that's nothing fun. big. But recently we were in Chicago, and what it is with Chicago with no bathrooms? It is true. yeah. Because I was like, I was downtown. Yeah, not a single bathroom to be found. You know what I, it is? Most of them, most of the buildings are have been renovated. Yeah, to fit more things in the building. <laughs> you know what? What the things are. You're not get. We got no potties. Yeah, dude. You're, my like, friend. You're out of You know luck. that the employees have to use a bathroom somewhere, so they just no. They lie. share a bathroom with one business. Right, right. So there's right, one, right. like the gas station might yeah, have one. Yeah. My friend's apartment building. Um, there was one bathroom, and then you had to like because all the buildings, all the apartments were turned into smaller apartments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then you had that's to depressing. Go share the yeah yeah the that's depressing in the hallway. I uh, I was in Chicago and uh, I had to pee really bad. And uh, my bladder must be getting smaller and smaller as I get older. But I had to pee so bad. And my only option was to go to our parking garage. Like, literally, the best option was to walk a mile back to the parking garage. 
because I knew I had a Starbucks cup in there. Yeah. And dude, I peed dude. in that Starbucks cup. But I pee. I didn't want to pee in the parking search because it was like really busy. So then you know you gotta like you're in the car. You gotta like maneuver a weird way. Yeah. Um, and I'm just by myself, just pee hard peeing, dude. Yeah. Like like it wasn't like. I almost filled it up. To yeah, the top, I was gonna dude. say. I was literally gonna say. You ever start filling up a vessel and then you're just like, yeah, it's uh, ri- it's gonna overflow. It's risky. It's gonna. It's overflow. risky. But luckily, I you think get a little it bit was of pee uh, in your hands. It was a venti. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was a venti. Like, a venti will do like, it. Yeah, I was alright. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was good. But anyways, yeah, I was just I, that imagery came to my mind the other day. I'm like, that's so strange. Like, I've seen a stranger's turds just. Just falling. Flying in the air, dude. Just like... I mean, luckily it wasn't too far. There's a moment in time. You caught a moment in time where you saw a human turd in the air. Yeah, and there had to be like <laughs> 300 people passing by that also saw it. So like, there's somebody else that tells this story once a year too. From their perspective. Yeah, exactly. They, sell, they tell... They're like, yeah, I was looking in the rear of me and this guy was just dropping yeah. a fat deuce in the yeah. side, side, his of butt cheeks, side of the freeway. His butt cheeks were so white and pale. Oh, dude. That... That's almost uh, uh, is number one. Yeah. The, the turds dropping is like number two because I'll never forget. Is number two slow? <laughs> nice dude. <laughs> That's uh, great. I, I just never forget passing by and just that gets your attention. It's like is that somebody's just pasty butt hanging out? And you're like, oh, I see. Oh, and it's just like drops. <laughs> Beautiful, <laughs> that, dude. Yeah, dude. Oh, you know it. Dude. Just unloading. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. I mean, think about that guy. <clears throat> think about how much pain and turmoil that like, I was going through to go, like, I got to go on the freeway. You gotta go. <laughs> I got to go. I got to. That's desperate. Like, like <clears throat> there's been times where you ever, you ever, your stomach ever hurt so bad that you start praying? Mm. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. This definitely. is my prayer. Now, look, when I used to eat really unhealthy, like, really, really bad, I'd wake up every morning with, with stomach pains. So there'd be times where I would, you know, you're unbuttoning your pants and you're pulling your jeans away and you're just going, I don't even, I don't even say, I don't even say like, God, take the pain away. I say, um, God, just, I just want to make it to a bathroom. Like take the pain just so I can get, to, I'll get, yeah. just get me to any bathroom. No, dude. It, what's the worst is being lactose intolerant mm-hmm. where you're on the toilet Oh, and yeah. there is no relief. I have been there. Not, you're just praying not to God. Often. You're yeah. praying to God. Please look like listen. Do something. Like, yeah. Like, let me get rid of this pain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I would have died. I've been there. I've been there like <laughs> once or twice. Mine is always preempt- preemptive yeah. before I get to the toilet. But I had one of those the other day where I was like, God, it's been a while. It's been a while. But I need a favor. <laughs> no, but actually, need- my stomach gets so, when, I, when I'm like fully loaded on yeah. lactose, yeah. it gets dense like a rock. That's crazy. Yeah. What is it like? Like right now? What is it right now? Feel it. Kind of I mean, it is like solid. Yeah. But so you're saying oh, it gets even way more. more like I can punch dude. it oh. and it's like a rock. Dude, you should do, you should start a slap competition, but it's belly slaps. Just dude. my belly? Yeah. Like, Everybody. Because there's got to be more people <laughs> with the same issue. Yeah. yeah. You know what? You know what's funny though? It's like, um, I don't have that much fat. Sure. Like fat's on the bottom. Yeah. Like maybe I could pinch it like a little bit. Right. The right. rest of it, bloat. Uh, it's just blood, dude. Yeah, dude. That's all this gut right here. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Yeah. It's so just, watch just, you just, you should just pop a little drain in there. Yeah, just blow it out. Psst, just let it out, dude. No, because in the morning I'm actually I got like a flat stomach in oh, the morning. Sick. But dude. as soon as I eat a little bit of dairy, oh, which yeah, is dude. every morning. Yeah, you like I wake up a large, I yeah. have some milk, I'll become a You literally have triple. dairy like with your coffee every morning. Every morning. That's I love dairy. <laughs> That's a good way to start I love the day. Dairy. Oh <clears throat> speaking of like slapping bellies and stuff. This is not a segue. This is, just a, <laughs> this is literally just a thought. Yeah. But uh, I'm not a big sports guy. But you know how sick it would be to go see a sumo wrestling competition? Oh, mm-hmm. dude, it would be amazing. I was thinking that they slapped their legs and yeah. slapped their belly. Guys, let's do that. We should find one. Yeah. You think they have local sumo competitions I in bet. Milwaukee? In Milwaukee? Can we look that up? I bet you they do, but I bet you they're not the big Japanese guys. I have a feeling they're like white guys, black dudes, yeah, yeah. like maybe like a super heavy uh, Puerto Rican guy. But yeah, like. Yeah. I'd love to see a traditional Japanese sumo wrestling. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Eat some sushi. Trailer park sumo wrestling. Yeah. yeah that's dude. it. They just eat like 15 sick. burgers and then go at it. Yeah. 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 They're like, just slightly overweight. Yeah, no, they're <laughs> super <laughs> overweight. <laughs> they're wearing I, uh, jeans. No. Okay. We should plan a Bros and Brothers trip to Japan and let's get real sushi. We could bring the sword. Oh, of course. Well, like, I think that's how you get in. Yeah, nowadays, with, especially with a uh, COVID protocol, with a katana. 
But we go in, we 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 see if we can get the katana fixed, get it fixed up. Yep. We eat real sushi, try uh, vending machine ramen, and go see sumo wrestling. Yeah. I'm and down. maybe um, go to like the Pokemon headquarters or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that'd be super fun. Yeah, dude. Go to Suicide Forest. Whoa. And listen, we know it didn't work out for Logan Paul, but it's been a couple of years now. Fingers crossed. <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe it'll work out for us, dude. Fingers crossed. Oh, we joke. That's, yeah. It worked for Logan Paul in the long run. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but I do, Japan is like bucket list. Yeah, no. I've only been out of the country a few times. I've been to Canada. I've been to... Ooh, fancy. I've been Bahamas. to the Bahamas, but... I don't know if that's a territory. It's not a territory, but I don't know what that's considered. We- it's out there. It's out there. You had to go through customs and stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And then I've been to, um, I stopped in Ireland for a few hours. Wow. Oh, fell yeah. asleep in the airport and then got that's screamed right. at in, an, in, in uh, English, but with an Irish accent over the intercom, the screaming f- for me and Anna to make our planes are about to take off. Wow. And like, one, we were sleeping, and two, like, we didn't understand what they were saying. <laughs> but then, That's the best. and so I've been there, and then I've been to uh, Paris. So, and Mexico. Oh, yeah, I've been to Mexico. Yeah. I don't, right. you know, I don't think about that, yeah. but like, yeah, that's true. Dude, so, dude, I've been to our neighbors from the north and the south. That's dude. right. All you've visited all of North America. Oh, yeah, dude. And I will say that I think that uh, Mexico is better than Canada. Yeah, I, I can picture I that. Say, yeah, I will say that. Yeah. I mean, they're Canadian, so. Right, exactly. Exactly. Now, Maybe I would enjoy like Quebec. Maybe I like the French Canadians. I like the French Parisians. Maybe. So maybe I would like the French Canadians too. Maybe. Or maybe they're um, completely different. That's what they say. They're completely different. They say that their French is like hillbilly French. Wow. That's yeah. fun. They say it's like uh, in old French. So they said like if you find like a hundred year old person in Paris that's been living in the country, they their accent would probably be the same as oh, Quebec. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Because when they came there, whatever, like, you know, a yeah. hundred years ago, whatever, um, the accent never evolved. It just mm. stayed the same. So yeah. yeah. Dude. That's super sick. I'm burning up. Oh I'm yeah. I'm sweating. I can tell Julio's like burning up on there. He wants to take a nap. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> we gotta wake For him sure. up. Well, yeah. it's, it's, it's after midnight already, so. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Late cast. Late night pot. Okay. Give, give me some, uh, pot. give me some so, horn. Real quick, we got, um. <laughs> Sorry, nice uh, ass for Late night pot. Whatever is going to nice. keep him awake, you know? <laughs> uh, Quinton brought some videos. There you go. That yes, I figured sir. we'd show. So here's one. This Do is simply. Audio? Probably. This is simply titled Anger, and it's 10 seconds. Here we go. Yep. That's that was real. Yeah. So for um, those watching, they opened I think a Big Mac. Yeah, a Big Mac. Listening. It was a full size. Oh yeah, just listen. It was a. They opened up a full a full size Big Mac. Then they gave their dog a Big Mac box, but inside was a very tiny Big Mac, which was interesting that they were able to find or make a tiny little Big Mac. <laughs> I think that was um, the gummy things. Yeah. It's, oh yeah. <laughs> I see. The Krabby Patties. Yeah, the yeah. Krabby Patties. Gummy Krabby Patties, dude. Is it a gummy Krabby Patty or is it just an old school gummy burger? Ooh. That's where I'd like to know. So then they open up a tiny little burger for a dog, and the dog was very upset. By the way, dog's very in shape. He's swole. <laughs> like, dude. dude. Like, that's goals for me. Anger for a dog. reason, man. Oh, yeah, you can back dude. it up. Yeah. He's cute, though. He's small, but like... He's small. He's just straight shredded, dude. That's just what I'm trying shredded. to get for my vacation in September. Yeah, dude. Look at those shoulders. Dude, he's got shoulders, he's man. He's got shoulders. He's got, he's got triceps. Traps, dude. <laughs> Tries. Buys. He's got that dog joint, and even that's like a little muscular. Yeah, wide old chest. Look dude. at the way he's looking too. He's like, oh, I'm shaved up. head, shaved head. It looks like he's got he's got face tats over here, yeah. like that on the ear. Dude, that dude's got character. Sick, dude. Looks like he slapped boxes. Oh, he what? definitely yeah, slapped boxes, percent, dude. Dude, uh, you know dogs who do slap box with their tails. Yeah, some dogs do their tails be slapping, dude. That's right. My uh, like whips. niece, when she was a baby, their dog was a uh, was a mastiff Great Dane mix. So the tail was like literally as thick as my arm and twice as long and do that thing hit you. It like will literally leave marks. Damn. You should have bruises. That's crazy, dude. All right, what's the next video? Okay. Uh, as soon as I saw this, I was like, Nick's going to love this one. All right, here we go. High quality. High quality, horizontally spinning rat. Also 10 seconds. I appreciate the... The short... The yeah, yeah, shortness. <laughs> dude, this video is delivery. <laughs> yeah, dude. It gets straight to the point. Yeah, dude. <laughs> No clickbait. No clickbait, dude. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> music choice is excellent. Wait, what is that one? All right, Let's go down a rabbit it. hole. There's a rabbit hole. Capybara oh. spinning horizontally with small stops. Sure. So what this is is... Small stops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's spinning, but it's got small yeah. stops. So what this is is this is these are people who are selling their 3D models yeah. of animals that you can buy for your project. Yeah, yeah. This is amazing, dude. Dude. I wonder, wow. oh, I wonder if we could buy that, that rat model and make that like our logo on YouTube. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Credits logo. That'd be sick, dude. I'm yeah. definitely going to hit That'd it. That'd be great. People. Okay. That'd be great. So let's go to his his third his third and final video. This is called Curb Your Jenga Tower. Mm. All right, here it says we go. live. You can play, live, play the audio for this one, but oh, this is the classic. I, really want to show I love you this. Is, uh, right over here. This is the Leaning Tower of Pisa in our campus. That's all with Jenga blocks. Wow, that's and, beautiful. Uh, the person that's built is right around the corner here. It's Brian Barney. Brian. He's like, please watch your step. Brian is a 1990 <laughs> graduate of Northern, and uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about this amazing structure. <laughs> well, it's, as you can see, the, uh, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, um, it's about 12,000 blocks. It took over two weekends to build. Wow. And um, I'm really excited because next week, uh, the Guinness Book of World Records team are going to come to evaluate it, and I'm really looking forward to that. What's he doing? Oh. Let me just spit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So that is one of my favorite videos of all time. I'm, I can't believe you guys haven't seen I've that video. I've never no, seen that. Never seen it. That's so devastating. That was great. He clearly, for some reason, everything about it walks behind the Leaning Tower of Jenga with a uh, corded Pisa, bike. With a corded bike, <laughs> yeah. and then decides, let me just go in front of it now. And just snipes it from below <laughs> with the cable, dude. And watch, like, I love the interaction at the beginning. You could tell the guy's really concerned about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It. right, right. He's, he's like, like, he's like, please watch, watch the cable, watch the cable. My gosh. Give me some audio. So the guy's Brian, like, Barney, Brian. What? Hold on. And it, the interview's mad. Look at him. Watch. He's like, what? The cable's not doing anything. Brian is a 1990 <laughs> graduate. Because he's <laughs> under pressure, is live. Yeah. He's probably the weatherman. They're like, crap, Cindy's sick. Get on the mic and get out there and interview this guy. I wish Shindy was never sick. Um, yeah, this guy's life would be totally different. Also, how was it going to last? What do you say, two weeks? And, it took him two um, weeks to build. But you so said Guinness of, was coming in a week or two weeks. Yeah, dude. So all I had to do was like, they're like, listen, don't don't turn the air on. Yeah. It, there's literally uh, barricades around it. Yeah. And no, this guy was like, here, let me just sneak around these barricades real quick with a corded mic. <laughs> Where? Why do they have a corded mic? Yeah, I, I well, love to know more information. Yeah. Like, what year is this? And then right here. This is where complete devastation. I'm really looking forward to that. His guard's down. So he's looking. Look, he's like, oh. He's like, you got, you, you're going to stop, correct? Yeah. You're going to stop right there, right? Oh. Uh, and then I love how you, why see, did the, this dude, uh, you see the hand come he in. He puts his hands up. He's going to try to catch him. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to try to catch him. <laughs> that is instinct, dude. Yeah, it is. Watch this. Uh, hand. Uh, 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 yeah, oh, oh yeah, go back. Turn it up nice and loud. I guess as far as it goes. Okay, ready? Here we go. Oh, wait, I think I can turn it up on here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there you turn go. Turn down a little yeah. bit. All right, here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that is like, that's <laughs> guttural. That's yeah. despair, yeah. yeah. You can't, you know, so many times they say fake these videos? Yeah, that's real. That is not Sadness. fakeable, dude. It's, it's sad because you play it again. His, his, <laughs> uh, the records team are going to come to evaluate. That it. comes from a real I'm place. Really to that. Oh, yeah, dude. Now remember, look at his face right there. He's like, okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Watch yeah. his face is just like, okay. And, and the thing is, so you gotta imagine this guy is going like, I'm gonna be a Guinness World Record holder for doing this. So, but he, but in his mind, he's thinking like, in one week, I'm gonna be, a, I'm gonna be a legend. Yeah. Now think about this. He did it, but because Guinness wasn't there, yeah, they, they don't count it at all. It's gone. Hello. Oh, is he on the phone? Yeah, it's not like he said hello. Hello? Oh, he's on the oh, phone. That makes it so much worse. <laughs> team are going to come playing. to evaluate it, and I'm really looking forward to that. Look, he's holding Look. the phone. Oh, Look. no. Look, flip he's phone. holding the phone. It's flip phone, so we kind of can date it. Okay. So he walked That's why he looks the at the camera like, oh, I guess I got this yeah, phone yeah, call yeah. I got to take. Side piece calling. <laughs> hello? 
soon as he says hello. That makes, <laughs> that makes it so much worse. Yeah, as soon as he says hello. Yeah. Tower falls. Hey, yo, there's some dumb tower here. Yeah, yeah. Do you think he like took it out on the person that called yeah. him? Yeah. Yo, I would. <laughs> yeah, you, you would think for a second would. he was like, how did that happen? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, he looks at the camera guy. Hey, Steve, why'd you didn't tell me about the dumb cable, dude? One thousand percent, I would take it out of the person by the phone with. Oh, one thousand percent. Why are you calling? Me? I told you I should call me at work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I uh, there's an extended video where then he tries to disc- like. You know, console the guy. Really? It's just awkward. What's right? happened with the guy? It's just awkward. I don't remember. I just remember that he's trying not to literally murder every single Ooh. person in that room. Yeah, it's Yikes. uh, it's one of those things of like, what can you do in that moment? But it's just so like devastating. I imagine doing that all the time. Like I'm like, oh, yeah. so anytime I'm around something, I'm like, don't touch anything. Don't yeah. like, don't breathe too hard because I, I don't want to be that guy. I picture I'm I'm worried about doing that in a semi truck. Oh yeah, like I take a turn, I'm over someone's car. Yeah. Yeah, that stakes yeah. are that would uh <laughs> that would not yeah. be good. <laughs> stakes are a little no. different than Guinness Book of World Record. I would say yeah, no Guinness uh, Book of World Records for them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh yikes. Hey. Uh, oh dude, you know what else we got? What? We got fan art, dude. What? I know you guys all seen this. Yeah. But I wanted to show the listeners. That's oh, right. not oh, that. Whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, that was like inception over By there. By the way, this is this is what happened. When me and Nick met, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is the singularity. I opened my computer later, I'm like, no! You should have asked him if he uses Photoshop. Yeah, yeah, Or yeah. if he does graphic design. All right, here we go. So here is our our first dude. Ever fan art, dude. That's what's Straight up, Straight out drawn, Pretty dude. Sick. This is by Jose, my buddy. We used to call him Cheeks back in the day. Yeah. Now he just goes by Jose. His name is Jose Rosado. He ended up Jeez. making that, tagged us in it. That thing was sick, dude. Yeah, it's so, pretty cool. So I had to show all the, the people that. Our we'll first fan art. Keep the fan art coming. I want to print that. Uh, good, bad. I love bad fan art. Yeah, the good, the yeah, bad, and the bad. You guys need to put that on the set. Oh, Get yeah. Yeah, I want to print it put it on the set. Let's just buy a TV that... All, that could be like an NFT that just sits here on a TV. Yeah. It's only like a thousand bucks. You get a big TV yep. and it just has that piece of art. Actually, that would be a pretty cool move if we had like a TV. Oh, uh, yeah. With an with a NFT. Yeah, dude. Each episode. That'd be sick, dude. Wow. And be we cool. could sell it and make billions, dude. dude we could be Which, by the way, um, crypto market is completely crashed. Hey, and, uh, you know. It'll be back. It's a roller coaster, back. baby. Also, time to buy. Time to buy. Elon Musk is not buying Twitter. Yep. He's backing uh, out of the deal, or at least he's trying to. His his father just had his second baby with his stepdaughter. Ooh, and that's then awkward. also How's still a big fan of Eli. That has nothing to do with Eli, right? But also, um, Eli. I was gonna say you called him Eli. Oh, then I called him Eli. Yeah, Eli. You know <laughs> yeah. what I was thinking? The big lie. Okay, yeah. there we go. Um, I got another thing that I thought uh, I I wanted to get off my chest. Okay. You guys let me know what you guys You want to get it off your thighs because the thighs oh, are out. Yeah, dude. I've been slowly trying to hike up my shorts the whole episode because it's a late night pod, dude. I like it. And you know, energy's not super high, but when people watch this and they see the thighs out, dude, they're yeah, not going to even notice how tired we are. Yeah. But <laughs> I have a strong opinion for the last Think about three years. <laughs> no, go for it. Think it. Dude, is that, is that dude's thighs out? Oh, yeah. There's no way he's tired. Oh, There's yeah, no way dude. he's boarded up over there. Nah, nah, nah. His little thighs are be, out. You can't be sleeping with the knees showing. Dude, look how cool he is with those <laughs> yeah, thighs out. With those you can't be. And by out. the way, what do you think of the hair, dude? Dude, your hair is immaculate. You have great hair. Well, here's the thing is, I do. I, You're missing and I some. I appreciate that, wow. but I was going to say, skinny jeans ruined my whole yeah. aesthetics, dude. Right there. But I'm going to get I tattooed there, so. have no hair in my legs mm. because of skinny jeans. Oh, yeah. Or at least I think so. Yeah, or like some type of uh, skin or irritation or disease. Deficiency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's like there's nothing. But what's nice about mine is mine are, I'm even from ankle to hip. I got an even yeah. color and amount. It's not too a much. A good coat of hair. Yeah, dude. On your body. So I, I appreciate that. Yeah. So anyways, knees are out. I'm feeling good. But um, one thing, I, again, I wanted to get off my very hairy chest. Not like my legs. It's extremely hairy, dead center only. Right. Um, but that uh, I I have a, a strong opinion that guys that are thirty and older, which I'll do you twenty nine, twenty nine. So this is about to apply to you in, in a couple weeks here. We'll see. I'm coming up, almost there. Guys who are thirty and older should not have sayings on their t-shirts. Ooh. Now wait, wait, wait. Let me define the parameters. Okay. I do not mean logos or brands, and I do not mean graphic 
t-shirts. Okay. Right? So like Quentin, cut to Quentin, that's acceptable. Bon Jovi? That's acceptable bon as a 30 shirt. year old if you can name three or more songs. I'm not saying you need to. Right. So but you're still you're still young. I don't believe this was in a that. gift. When you're so 30, when you're 30, no, it. women don't need to. Men need to know three or more songs. Even if you just learn the name of three songs. So that way if you're quizzed on the shirt, you have three or more titles. That's my rule. Oh, but yeah. what I'm talking about is a sang. Right? So like hot like, thing. Yeah, hot thing. Or booty uh, Right. Yeah, exactly. Now those might ironic, maybe, but I don't even think ironic counts. I think I'm thinking um, of shorts. What's that? I'm thinking, You're thinking of, of the back of jeans yeah, in, yeah. from 2002. Yeah, yeah no, that's, that's all. Good. But I'm thinking like you know like uh, well like, okay like, like the juicy. most egregious would be like um, uh, you know thing one thing two. That's like the most egregious, right? But I'm saying like <laughs> even on a smaller scale like um, like I'm with Jesus. Like okay. I love a good Christian yeah, tea, yeah. but if it's not a graphic tea, it just has words on it. Like I'm not a big. That means that I mean, you're 29 is fine. That means I got younger. a racket then. You got a couple weeks to just get buy as like many a, sayings a as possible. Shirt, just like a, just a minion on it. I'm gonna as soon as I turn thirty, <laughs> nothing but minions. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a minion phrase. Right? No, like the the babble. No. That's the height of it. The babble on the shirt. Pre thirty though. Like as soon as you turn, if it has a I'm picture, saying of I'm saying I'm rebelling against. No, the, okay. The if it has a picture of a minion on it, yeah, totally. No, but that's a graphic. What take. if it's just like it's it. It says the minion's Somebody's logo. Yawn on the show. <laughs> 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 yeah. so it says, like, "Wrap it up, boys." It's been an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it says minions right here, but then it's got the babble, like the the things they say. All right. I mean, listen. And then I got minion Crocs. I could see it's a hot take. A minion, yeah, skull cap. I'll, with, with the with the eye. Crocs past thirty. Yes, I do. I'm. I fall in the category of you can rock it. You can rock it. But sayings on your shirt, I think the moment you turn 30, you you should be outlawed. What about Goonies Never Say Die? Does it have the poster on it? It has no. a skull and crossbones. Mm. Skull and the crossbones. Mom literally just bought it for Max, so we're hoping you say yes. 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 <laughs> That's rigged. Movie reference that if you've seen the movie, any movie reference goes. Okay, so. But you can't get one that says, like, that's what she said. Okay. I'm That's <laughs> out at 30. I wonder if I'm if, with stupid. Uh, what's another one? Uh, I'm with her. Yeah. That should be outlawed <laughs> in general. Any age. Every man should what be. What if, uh, okay, this is, men should never wear this type of shirt. Yeah. Um, where it has golden glitter letters that say king. Black shirt, this golden is, letters. Right. Now you're getting to the category of what I'm talking about. It just exactly. says king. Exactly. King. Ah, oh, man. I want to do that as a character. Oh, that's yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Like, fine. I want to live my life as a character. Yeah. And um, that's going to be one of them. Right. Oh, yeah. The dude that wears like, sayings or, on his... Yeah, or it says, like, all about the Benjamins. Yeah. Like, At 30, any 29 and younger, But that's almost, like, an ironic thing. That yeah. one's that one's leaning a little but, bit. But I... I don't. I, I take back my statement about ironic. I don't like ironic unless it's a graphic tee. I like a good ironic graphic, graphic T-shirt. What if it's a guy and all the shirt says in cursive is just "Live, Laugh, Love." Ooh, and he's that's like thirty-five me. years old. Yeah, but it's in cursive. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. That's well, cool. What if it like barely fit? I okay. Here's what. Here's what I. Here's what I don't like. His belly button shown. Yeah. I, I don't like cheesy ironic, or I don't like you're like. I, I like this statement. If you like this statement, that's not a good, that's a, don't wear that shirt. If you think it's a funny statement, maybe. I Live, agree. laugh, love, and cursive is great. Now I found my new mission in life. Yeah. I'm going to find a scenario, scenario? Sure. Scenario where it works for you. Okay. Well, Quentin kind of nailed it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Quentin kind of nailed it. Well, but, but yeah, if it was like, um, uh, there's, there's always a sunshine tomorrow. Yeah, and you wear that? Uh, no. Yeah. I but if it's got if it, if if it's got a picture of a sunshine, right, and a '70s font, right, and then like um, it's like distressed or the shirt's yeah. tie dye, maybe. What if it's like um, the shirt is made to look like with graphics, like it's a tore up shirt, and you got like cheese on it and stuff, like cheese powder. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, and then it's got like the little belly button. I got one. I got one. How about uh, you guys get a shirt called "We Are Bros and Brothers." That's kind of cool because that's we are again brothers. that's something you're fully tied. That's something like it's not ironic and it's not like 
uh, a statement like in the sense of like I live by this. This is my code. It's like yeah, yeah. it's promo. Yeah, it's that's merch. A promo. Merch. merch is different, right? But then you're saying that other guys can't wear merch. They can because I think merch is its own category. What if our merch was only cheesy T-shirts? That'd be sick, dude. That'd be funny. That'd be super dope. Write that down. Eat, pray, that down. eat, pray, Quentin, love. Write that down. That'd be so yeah, sick. Dude. Eat, pray. Love. Oh, we should do one that just says uh, "Eat, pray, eat." Yeah, that's a good T-shirt. Eat, dude. pray, poop uh, in traffic. <laughs> oh yeah, all right. All right. A couple all right. extra words. We got to try to squeeze <laughs> in the bottom, but I can see. Yeah, I just keep that. adding random words. Yeah, I can see that being Eat, a thing. Pray taxes. But that's something I've been trying to get Jeff. off my chest um, for a while now. Because you don't want graphics on your chest. Never. So you I've been trying want, to get them graphics. Well, I do you want, don't want phrases. You don't I want, want phrases, phrases on, on my chest, dude. So you get those phrases. You know, like uh, back in the day. Um, you know, um, like in medieval like times, mm-hmm. they would have uh, armor, and yeah. you would get designs put on your armor. Yep, I'm cool with that. But they didn't do like sayings. They did like um, images that invoked an emotion. Yeah. I'm cool with that. I'm watching um, um, Game of Thrones, and they have a lot of that in Game of Thrones, where it's yeah. like you know a lion or um, a stag, like a or crest. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, cool. I'm, I'm more, I lean more Game of Thrones, less ironic T-shirts. So. I dig it. So you're saying you're gonna get like a full suit of armor? Oh, the, it, it, if it's that that um, says um, "Live, Laugh, Love" on it. Oh, that'd be cool. That's See, the height of it. That'd be kind of cool. That would be cool. Yeah, it'd be cool. I gotta have a dent in it though. What if that was like you were a knight? Yeah, and that was my family motto. That was your motto. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Live, laugh, live, laugh, love. Dude, you just <laughs> Dude I want to go work at Medieval Times. Yes. And I'm going to become a knight and I have a flag, right? And normally it's a flag with a raven on it. Yeah. yeah. Mine just says, <laughs> live, laugh, laugh, love. love. <laughs> there dude, it is, man. Sick, dude. Hey, by the way, name of the episode. Live, live laugh, laugh, love. That's All a good right, one. That was a good episode. We're going to sleep. We'll see Happy you guys birthday, next week. Julio. Yeah, we're going to cut to Julio Happy real quick. Happy birthday, Julio. We're going to sleep. I thought he was going to moon the camera, dude. Yeah. Oh, wait. What? Oh, snap. Get in here, dude. Get in here. Get in here. Watch out for all the cables. Watch out for the cords. Whoa, look at it move. Where is this? He's so tall. Chewy. See this, right? Oh, snap. Oh, dude, look at this. Wait, Chewy. Bend down. Oh. Chewy. Chewy. Bend down. Chewy. Right Can you go. slam that whole Chewy now? <laughs> dude, slam it now. Slam it slam now. Slam the whole Chewy. 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 Keep going, Chewy. 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 Chew. Make sure you chew. Chewy. 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 It has to be like applesauce. Chewy. That's why it's called Chewy. 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 It has to have the Chewy. consistency of applesauce. Chewy. 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 You got it. You got it. <laughs> he can't swallow. All right. Can't swallow. It, was a good, it was a good tent. All right. See you guys next week. Peace. See you. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> it's bros and brothers. Brothers and bros. What's today's topic? Nobody knows. It's bros and brothers. What a lovely surprise. We're happy to be listening to our two favorite guys, bros and brothers.